Hello, Aldo here, and in this video we're going to continue exploring our different lights within Maya. Uh, previously I created this ambient and directional light. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they're selected because I want to hide them by selecting them and pressing Control H. So that is a keyboard shortcut that hides whatever you have selected and it works both in Mac and Windows. And I'm going to go ahead and create a point light. Let's go to the option box. With the point light, uh, this is a light that creates light in all directions from the center, uh, similar to what you'll find like on matches or light bulbs. So let's go ahead and the intensity is set to one. Uh, we're going to leave these settings right now. It's going to cast shadows. Let's go ahead and create. I want to. It's already selected. I'm with my move tool, but I do want to raise it up a bit. And let's go ahead and see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and click on the render current frame. I'm using some of the previous settings, which are my Maya software. And also ray tracing is turned on within my Maya render settings. Uh, but if you notice right here, this shadow, it's a little bit uh, fuzzy. That is telling me that for this light, if I go ahead and scroll down, um, I'm in the attribute editor. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down right here. I can see that depth map shadows is turned on. I could turn this off so it has no shadows. So if I render this out, I get something that looks like this, but these <laughs> spheres don't have any shadows. If I want them to have shadows, I'm going to scroll down and locate ray trace shadows attribute. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and let's go ahead and render this and see what we got. So now we have something that looks like this. You could also change some of the settings. If I scroll back up under decay rate, it's set to no decay. Let me sele select linear. You can see it's going to get a little bit darker within my scene. And let's go ahead and render this. And you can see that now it, there's a little bit of de decay as it goes further out. We don't have the light continuing throughout our scene. It slowly decays. Uh, I want to show you uh, another setting that you're able to do with this light. If I, with my light selected in the attribute editor, if I go under light effects, under light glow, if I click on this little checker box, this is uh, creating a what's called a render node for this one. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And now what we're able to do is we're adding an optical effects for this light. Right here under this sample gives us an idea. Let's go ahead and re-render this scene out again. And now you can see we get this little light. So you could change all the settings right here. Uh, the glow type, it's set to linear. So I could have it none, exponent, linear, exponential, ball, lens frame, rim, lim, <laughs> rim halo, excuse me. Uh, let's tell it a ball. And let's render this out again just to see what it looks like. Now I have this right here. Uh, a halo. Let's turn on these settings. You can change the the different settings to get different results. Uh, if I want a, 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 a lens flare as well. And you can see that as we're adding more effects, it's slowly adding some of the different, uh, it's increasing the attributes. So there's glow attributes, the color that's going to be glowing the halo attributes, the lens flare attributes as well. Uh, let's see if you want to have more star points, which right now it's set to four. Like say, for example, what if I want this to be, let's say six. Let's go ahead and re-render this. And now you're going to see that you have six arms right there. So these are fun, different things that you're able to work with uh, and explore. And these are some of the settings that are found with the point light. So what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stop this video so that in the next video, we could go over the spotlight. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.